Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey Allen. Oh my god, Tucker, I'm trying to record. Can you stop? No? Okay. There's a chance you actually have curly hair. You just have not found the right technique for it. I'm going to be taking you through my curly hair routine. And this technique, I swear to you, I pinky promise, is going to have your hair looking snatched. Okay, before we start, I'm just going to give a little overview of my hair before I do my routine. Let's get started on the routine. So the first thing that we're gonna do is get the entire head wet I don't use a spray bottle. I literally just step over my sink and wet my hair from root to tips Start by splitting it in half like that Right, I'm gonna flip my hair over and get it wet even more All right, now that my hair is completely soaked, I am now gonna go in with my products. I only use two products, and the first one being mousse. Oh my God, I'm running out. I might not be able to finish this hair care routine, or this might be the last time that I can do it before I have to go buy some new mousse. Hopefully. It's gonna work out in our favor. Now that I got my hair wet, you can see that it's already starting to kind of like curl a little bit. I'm going to push it in that direction by using mousse. What the mousse does is it kind of locks in whatever you're doing. So with your hair being wet, it's easy to manipulate. Instead of just getting out of the shower or wetting your hair and then brushing it straight, oh no, 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 no. Brushing your hair is for people who have thick, straight hair. That works very well for them. They're able to get out of the shower, brush their hair, and maybe add in a cream, and ooh, it's so shiny, silky smooth. Well, us curly-headed girls, we can't just get out of the shower and brush our hair and call it a day. Don't brush your hair. Never apply bristles to your scalp, ever, okay? Use mousse instead. Put a little in my palm, and then spread it throughout my hair and start scrunching. And now you have to use to your own discretion how much mousse you're supposed to be putting in your hair. Um, somebody for me, I have thin hair, so I don't need to use as much mousse as somebody uh, who has uh, thick and more hair. Okay, now the next step is hairspray, but do not, and I repeat, do not put hairspray in your hair while it is still wet. That will make your hair become crunchy and it is not a good look. I can tell the difference between somebody who does this routine the right way or rushed it. No sis, you gotta take your time. You gotta use good judgment on how much mousse you're supposed to be applying. You're supposed to scrunch the entire time and wait until your hair is like 80% dry before you apply the hairspray. While we're waiting, I wanted to like pop in here and add this like random little thought that I wanted to share. It's just crazy to think that my 18 year old self is going to give my future 18 year old daughter advice and content. It's just so crazy to think that like my daughter in the future, if I ever have a daughter, will be watching my hair routine and being able to follow it. Like that is crazy. So ah, this is going to be so corny, but future daughter if you're watching this <laughs> hi <laughs> oh my god this is actually so corny but like it is reality like this can actually happen like i might have a daughter one day watching this future daughter i already love you so much and i know you're my best friend okay now i'm gonna put hairspray in it i literally already just sprayed it in there because i have an attention span of a squirrel and forgot that i was <laughs> recording a video so yeah Keep scrunching and scrunching and scrunching. Literally this entire routine is just all about scrunching and using discretion on how much product you're supposed to be using. I literally love my animals. Like, what the hell? How are they that fucking cute? Tell the shoe! I think I'm gonna add a little bit more mousse. My hair is still like 20% wet, so I can add mousse and still be able to manipulate my curls. All right guys, I'll come back when my hair is completely dry and show you the final product. Just keep scrunching, just keep scrunching, just keep scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. So literally this whole routine is just scrunching it. Putting the curls in the right direction and they will follow suit. Like, look at this. 
look at this guys you saw the beginning how my hair was just a not like this at all like this could be your hair this could be your hair do you have thin wavyish hair is it poofy whenever you brush it it's because girl you have curly hair you're just not doing the right technique but if you brush your hair and it's and it's perfectly fine it's silky okay that's just your hair type but if you brush your hair and it's poofy that's a good chance that you have curly hair that's your hair telling you stop brushing me i don't want this and there you have it. This is how I achieve my gorgeous natural curls without using heat. Before you click out, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you see more of my videos. But yeah, that is it for my curly hair routine. This is how I attain curls without using heat. I love it so much. This is my go-to like ride or die method. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Cause I feel haunted in my bedroom The floorboards in the next room Will keep